Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here, and thank you so much to the GSBI team for their gracious hospitality uh, in this week that I've been here. So, enabling clean cooking and sustainable energy for sub-Saharan Africa and beyond. What does that really mean? To me, it means that this little boy can safely enjoy the love and warmth of his mother's kitchen. 4.3 million people every year die from the effects of household air pollution. This is what the problem looks like. Primarily, women and children, because this is a daily reality. So I could list a lot of the related problems, the time cost, the cost in fuel, and all of the environmental impact that cooking on open fire has on the world globally. But I would rather tell you that we have a solution. The ACE-1 solar-powered, ultra-clean biomass cookstove. And yes, it comes in seven flashy colors. <laughs> so why is this different? Many of you may have heard of cookstoves before, and many of you have heard the problems related with them. So we have a patented burning chamber. And what this allows us to do is actually gasify the fuel. So it uses a variety of fuels. You can put twigs, sticks, briquettes, biomass pellets, and yes, even cow shit. <laughs> and it gasifies it, meaning there is no smoke. And the particulates are so negligible that you're essentially taking away what is killing 4.3 million people every year. So to power this, we need a fan that drives the airflow, which means that we need a battery. So we use a high-tech lithium ferrophosphate battery, which can be recharged with the solar panel. So not only are we creating this really useful tool for cooking, but it's multifunctional in the sense that it also becomes a device charger and can power LED lighting. So we're solving multiple problems with a multifunctional tool. So we can take what is a daily misery and ensure a happy and healthy future generation. So on the subject of generations, most people will tell you that their team feels like their family. My team is my family. But between us, we have 35 years of corporate experience. We have 15 years of plant management, four family companies, four greenfield factories, and many years of volunteering work and working with poorer communities. We've already made and sold 35,000 units. And we're scaling our factory. We've hired 40 people locally already with about a 50% gender split, and we're an award-winning equal opportunities hirer. So I'm sure that some of you have alarm bells ringing. This is a multifunctional, high-tech tool. How will people be able to afford this? We've solved that problem, too. So with microfinancing and mobile payments, we've already partnered with Kiva and with Vodacom in Lesotho to ensure that everybody has the opportunity to purchase this. And with a price of about 100 to 120 US dollars, most people are easily able to pay this off in three to nine months. If they're purchasing fuel, that is already covered in their first contract, and they are easily saving money once they own the product um, all in. And our market size is huge. So in Lesotho alone, that's 270,000 households with an average of five members per household. You can imagine the impact there. But our next markets are even bigger. 1.4 million in South Africa and 7.3 million in Uganda. And it's not a difficult sell. With a 50% fuel cost reduction for those that are buying LPG or charcoal or kerosene, with 70% of their time saved if they're sourcing fuels, most people are really excited to own a multifunctional tool that also provides access to power, solving many problems with one simple solution. So what does our business rollout look like? So we're already selling in Lesotho, and we're scaling up there by creating new sales teams to use our proven model. 
This will lead to a further rollout in South Africa, including setting up a consolidation warehouse. Now the trick with this is, when we're shipping products to multiple markets, you'll understand that our transportation costs would go up, except that we've designed it to be flat packed, which means that you can send in about five times the amount that you would normally be able to and save yourself all that transportation cost and your capital expenses are covered in the first container. This leads us to an assembly line and sales rollout in Uganda and further spreading into East Africa. We're already profitable. We have been for two years. We want to scale up so that we can scale up our impact as well as our business. And you can see our revenue goes steadily up. What are we looking for? We're looking for 1.2 million US dollars. We already have 250,000 in committed equity, and don't worry, it's staying in the family. But we're looking for debt, or VPO, in a biphase investment to coincide with our rollout. 550,000 in 2016, and 400,000 to roll out in East Africa. This means that we could reach 3.7 million people before 2020. And considering that the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves is looking for 100 million units to be disseminated by 2020, this is a conservative figure. I'd like to finish with a story. This is my favorite customer. Mayor Mantemang takes care of her five orphaned grandchildren. She's 84. This product has made a huge difference in her life. And I've listed reasons why from a health and financial perspective, they're very important. But the thing that really gets me is the little things. It used to take her half an hour in the morning to start the fire, to start boiling the water so that all the girls could clean in time to go to school. The thing that she told me she was most excited about, with a boiling time of five minutes, she gets to sleep in in the morning. And I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> so please, join my cooking revolution. And thank you for your time.